What is up everybody? So today we are going through our second video of the new updated Quest solo tutorials. So today we are going through Jumbotron. So this is going to be a long video. We're going to be stopping a lot. We're going to be talking, saying where is the best place to be, what enemies to and not kill at certain times. So it's probably going to be a very long video. So I have timestamps down below so you can jump straight ahead to whichever level it is you're having issues with and you don't have to listen to me yammer for like an hour or so. So if you found the video useful, if you found it helpful, if you found it interesting, if you just found it, please leave a like below. Leave me a comment. I love comments. I'm trying to get better at replying to as many as I possibly can. Let me know what you guys think. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to leave a sub. I think that covers everything. I'm going to get you back into POV and we're going to go ahead and get started. This is going to be one long, uncut, unedited video, except for maybe this part because this was a long intro. I'm winded and I don't want to do it again. So let's go. POV. All right. So a lot of you guys know that you can hack in shotguns. We're not going to do that because I want to show you guys that you can do this without hacking in anything. And there's a chance it's probably going to get fixed at some point. So we're going to go with what's in armory. We're going to start with a couple of these bad boys here. And let's get started. Let's do this. All right. So starting out. I'm actually just going to use one. So once you start moving forward about right up here, you're going to get three flyers spawned and they're going to be pretty much all between these posts here. So just be ready for them. Use these to cover and that'll work out really well. Just kind of hide over here, stick your head out, take a few shots. Alright, so you'll get three more once you scoot up a little bit here. And they're going to be pretty random. And they can be in the center, over to the side, and I think over here a little bit. Um, and they always shoot for your head. The projectiles are pretty fast, but as long as you're strafing left to right, you're going to be pretty safe. So we're going to scoot up here. So we got two here and one over there. See, as long as you're strafing, they really can't hit you. Just gotta be careful to not strafe into one bullet while you're trying to dodge another. Okay, so once you do that, you're gonna have three more on the back side over there. And they will shoot three shots, and then they're gonna take a, a breath. So you can hide, wait till they're done with their shots, then stick your head out and take them out. All right, scooting up, you're gonna get two right up here and that's going to happen when you cross about right there so we're going to do that and we're going to take these guys out all right then you're just going to have four more right up here i like to use this little post here just shoot randomly blindly around the corner once you start seeing some wings you can know where to aim a little bit better and they will push each other they will start trying to push each other around the corner normally you're hiding here. They'll start shooting before they can actually see you and you're usually pretty good. But the bots behind them will start pushing them out and they will be able to see you and do damage. And this is the only quest where if you solo it and don't die a single time, you will still not get S rank. You do have to kill, kill, you have to hit some of these terminal, terminals. I can't really speak right now. You will have to break terminals to get S. So, if you're solo in it, you want S, break those. All right, second one, Hallway of Death. Scoot up a little bit. You're going to get a couple runners. Not a huge deal. They're pretty slow. Just let them shoot. Walk to the side. Easy. All right, scooting up. You're going to get a couple more walkers on the back side. easy and then when you scoot up a little bit more you're gonna get a couple flyers over here and some more walkers back here so again just strafing left slowly it's usually the best way to dodge it there's not a whole lot going on here not too difficult 
So once you cross about right here, you're going to get some mice coming out of this vent over here. So you might want to hop up on some of these boxes so they can't get you. You come out, spawn them, you hop up here. Now if you let them... Actually, you do get credits. Okay. I think they just fixed that because I didn't think you got credits if they killed themselves. Alright. So. You're going to get a flyer here and two there. Once you take out two of those, you're going to get a few more. And then you're going to get some my spots back there. I found the best thing to do, and that's going to happen when you either cross there or cross there. So I found the best thing to do is run over here, grab the shoddy, and then just let them come to you. So you're going to grab the shoddy, hide. Don't let them see you, because if they see you, they're going to stop and start shooting. Just let them get nice and close. And usually... You can kill them all pretty well before the my spots get here. So those my spots spawn way back there at that vent, and they'll work their way up here. So coming in over here, once you scoot into the room a little bit, you're going to get a couple flyers. I believe there's four of them. I like to go right, start over here, just hit these guys, and just continue to move. There's five of them. Just, just don't stop. That's the main thing. As long as you're going left or right, that's usually what's going to happen is they're going to miss you. So, And then just take them out. Now, once you take out this guy here, you're going to get a couple runners. And you're going to get a couple my spots. So they can spawn back here, or they can spawn over there. And then you will always get that guy there with those my spots. So you want to hop up on some boxes so they don't get you. Once they kill themselves, you're going to get a bunch more of these runners. They can be here or there. And then a bunch more of my spots. Again, just stand up on a crate. And then we usually kill themselves. Pretty easy. Ah, this is where we load up with two shotties. Alright, it's always pretty straightforward. You're going to have some runners over here, runners over there. I just kind of stay back and do a little sidestep and take them out. Once you take out this wave down here, you're going to get two more waves up at the top. That last wave, they can spawn up there and down here too, so don't let them sneak up on you. Alright, this room, this is a fun room. Everybody loves this room, right? So, spawn in, you're going to get a couple runners all around the back side. Do not go past about these terminals right there, because you will spawn away behind you, and you definitely don't want to do that. So I take all these out. Once you take out the last one, you're going to get two flyers and three more runners. So take them out and go for the flyers first. Their projectiles move much faster. So they're my main concern. Now once you've done that and you cross right about here, you're going to get three flyers and a bot back there and a bot in that cove. So be ready for them. Scoot up. Flyers out quick. And then knock out these two bots. Get you some credits because you want that S rank. I'm not really too worried about it because I have everything. But this room, this one's a fun one. So, you don't want to pass right between these two posts here because you will spawn a huge wave behind you. Um, if you're speed running, the best thing to do is to probably run up ahead, spawn it, come back here and start working on these guys while these guys work their way to you. But if you're doing this for the first time, the best thing to probably do is to just chill right behind this glass. You can see everything that's coming your way and you can take some shots at them. Even one shotgun's best. Once you kill all them, you're gonna get a couple flyers and some more runners. And you have a couple grenades there. If things get too bad, you can pop a grenade and take out a lot of them. I thought that grenade came flying at me. <laughs> so after that wave, you'll get your first wave of mice. And then you get a second wave with some flyers. So try and take out the mice as quickly as possible before the flyers can work their way around. And then just chill. Let them come to you. You can see them, but they can't see you. Unless you're on quest. If you're on quest, 
you can put a camera in this material here so that you can see through and see what's going on. Alright, your final wave of flyers. Just take them out as they come. Don't let them get all bunched up on you. So now we just have this last wave behind us. So as we scoot up past about here, you'll hear him spawn. Cover anywhere you can. And you may have seen that I just got hit. If you kill them after they shoot their projectile at you, if you kill them before it hits you, it won't do any damage to you. So you're good. Alright. This one's pretty straightforward. Not a whole lot going on in here. Start out with these guys. Don't let them shoot you, obviously. Once you come up in here, you're going to get some my spots. Be ready for them. Don't let them sneak up on you. Once you kill this guy, you're going to get some runners in that cove, that cove, and that cove. The only two that are every single time that are consistent are the two that spawn back here. These will always be here. The rest of them can spawn here, or they can spawn over there. Now, once you take these guys out, you're going to get some flyers all over the place. Their spawns are up here and over here. And again, that's a dynamic spawn. You don't know what's going to spawn where. And then you're also going to get two ground bots in here. So what I like to do is when I take this guy out, work my way in here. And you're going to take these guys out as they're spawning so that you have all this area over here. You can also hide back here, let everything come through here, and just kind of poke your heads out, poke your guns out. That's a good way to go about it too. Um, if you're super, super scared... There's a spot right over here, which I found not too long ago, which is pretty awesome. You just hop right back here, and I mean, like, nothing can get you. It's amazing. So, you can, like, take him out, and then just hide, and let everything come to you. And they can't get to you because this barrier right here. So you just kind of, like, stick your gun out and just shoot. There's a lot going on over there. So if you're really, really nervous, this is a decent place to be that I found. And just kind of blindly shoot out there. Then you can kind of look over here, make sure everything's good. There's nothing out there before you hop out. Again, if you quest, you'll probably have to put a camera there. Once you take out those two waves, you got two more of these elite bots. So let's go take care of them. Just keep moving. Alright, so. Take out this guy. Get our last two ways of flyers again they're gonna be there and they're gonna be there so you're gonna want to be ready as soon as you kill him to duck into cover again I'm kind of used to it so I'm gonna just kill him and then get ready to strafe and you will have one more elite over there as well once you take out two you get the last wave of flyers and again as long as you're just moving constantly it's really hard for them to hit you. What you don't want to do is if you have bots in front of you and you have bots to the side, you know, you don't want to move this way because these bots can hit you. You don't want to move that way because those bots can hit you, so you have to move at a diagonal. You just have to assess your situation every time and see where they're at to figure out which way you need to be strafing. But again, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Just believe in yourself. All right.
Now boarding. One, now we're boarding. Two, sector 17. So this one's a real fun one too. All passengers prepared for takeoff to the escape vessel. Three, two, one. So everything in here is pretty much on a timer. There's a few that aren't. Um, once this thing runs out, you're gonna get three flyers right there, and you're gonna get two waves of running bots over there, followed by three flyers over here. I mean, probably the best place to be is just right here. The only thing that you really have to worry about is you will have some mice bots right here that you have to be very aware of. These guys are gonna come this way. They can't hit you, so just like like we've been. To oh, hey, they're actually coming this way. When did that? Ha okay, that's new. Actually, now they can come over this way. That actually might make this easier, to be honest. So just let them work their way over. Poke your head out, take a few shots. Then once you do that, you're going to get these ground bots over here. Again, they're slow, they're stupid. You can come out, take a few shots. What you don't want to do is take out every bot from the second wave. Because once you take out this second wave, you're going to get the three flyers over here that you're really going to want to be ready for. And as soon as the flyers spawn, you're going to get my spot spawning. So, so you might want to just be ready to take them out and immediately start shooting flyers. Get a couple shots in, hide, get this guy before the my spots get over here. Now once these my spots are dead... That's when you're gonna get a wave. You're gonna get like four of my spots right here. So you can just kind of stand back, take them out as they head this way. They are really bad about getting stuck over there. It looks like we lost a few. Take out those, and then we're going to get another wave of bots. And when those are gone, we're gonna get some runners on the other end over there. And then that will lead us to our final wave, which is gonna give us flyers all over the place and some runners so I come out here you're gonna want to get this one guy who lands on this island because he can't get to you take out these and then let this last bot just come to you come over here get ready for the last wave and then take this guy out you're gonna have some runners heading this way I have to see if these flyers on the other end can make their way down here because they haven't been able to before, but then those other ones did. They sure do. Okay, so everything is going to be working its way our way now. Normally they would get stuck out here, so this one's new to me. So we'll uh, we'll work with what we have. They're going to start working their way. Just kind of take random shots out there in the general direction that they'll be coming in. And you can usually find them. All the robotic noise has stopped. Well, I hear one way off in the distance. You might be able to poke your head out real quick. Make sure. Be ready to duck back in. I think we just got the two over there. They probably got stuck. So, you'll work your way through here. Take a shot. Hide. Wait till they're done with their shots. Pop out. And there you go. Now, we get to where we see elites. So I always grab a railgun in there because we're going to start seeing elites here. And there's another railgun there if you forget. This is the only gun that will stun an elite. So I highly recommend using it. Shotties are good. Double shotties are powerful. But you won't be able to stun the elites. And it makes them very, very difficult. So moving forward you got all these guys this one's always you know this one's easy straightforward two barrels kill bots that guy's always just slightly out of range over here I waited too long these guys have made their way around so there should be one more down there there he is get this so we don't hit that barrel because we're gonna need that barrel alright so here's where it's gonna get fun once you start down this ramp here there's a line about right, excuse you, about right there. I don't know how well my laser pointer comes through. And that's going to spawn three bots behind you. If you go just a little bit further, like three feet, 
you're going to spawn flyers down there. So you have to inch your way down to these guys spawn. And once they spawn, there they go. Come back up here and get them. All right, and then they didn't spawn. And then you're going to work your way down there. You're going to get a bunch of flyers all over the place. There's really no easy, easy way to do this except for maybe running all the way back up here and doing the kind of pop your shot out like we've been doing. Um, the best thing that I've found to do is to just run through. Well, not really run through, but run up, let them spawn, hit that barrel, go back and forth, do the strafe, do the maneuvers, you know them. I missed a reload. And you will get some of these guys right here spawning in and you don't want to go too far because you're going to get more flyers and more ground bots so you got bot ground bots in there and ground bots down there you can't hide behind this post this one's not really too bad to hide behind and just kind of you know lean out either side and take shots moving up a little bit further is going to get you three flyers over here and then a bunch of ground bots over here i like to run over here and hide That actually got a little bit more hectic than I thought it was going to be. It usually isn't that bad. Um, you can always just kind of come over here and do the strafe tactic. It's not too hard. And then here's where we're going to see our first elite bots. We're going to get two elite ground bots over here and over here once you screwed up in that general area. These are a lot of fun. So my recommendation is for the first set since you have two elites in your loan i like to use the barrel and then take out the second one with my railgun from a distance so i let these guys spawn hit them then i get one shot in on him and kind of start falling back a little bit and this was where we get the railgun out because it's going to be your lifeline So the elite bots as well, they shoot three rounds in succession. The best way is to get at a, you know, about 15 feet ish from them. And then you're on the ground, they shoot, you jump over it, they shoot the second shot in the air, so you go under it, and then you jump over the third shot. All right, this room's pretty fun. I'm gonna go in, we're gonna get two more elites right over there. So what you can do is use these barrels for them and that's probably going to be the best because they're just they're really hard to take out. But what you can do is just take them out with the railgun from way back here. Find you some good cover. Don't let them get to you. And then the, the smaller bots that come after them will tend to get stuck on these doors right here. So they're pretty easy. The flyers anyway. The ground bots just go right under. So... If you're a little more aggressive, what I like to do when I'm speed running is just run up to this guy here and use this post as cover from that guy. But then you got to be ready because everything's going to spawn all around you, so you got to start hitting them before long before they hit the ground. So back behind these tie beams, all this area right here is really good. You just kind of snipe them out. Just don't let them hit you. Just kind of strafe back and forth. Take this guy out. Once you take him out, everything else is going to spawn, so that would be a good time to just go ahead and hit that barrel, see what you can get. Take all that out. Probably got a few things in there. Okay, there's still a flyer in there. You can always see where the flyers are. They got that string up in the air, so you can kind of see where he's coming in at. Alright, looks like we're just missing one or two. Alright, and you hear the sound go off. There's some more barrels right there, so that one's pretty good, too. All in all, this one's not too too difficult. It's a good good intro into Elites. This, this level here, the next two, is where it's going to get rough. 
I really, really hope I don't 1040. I've been 1040ing in Jumbotron so much recently. If I 1040, I'm gonna cut it. I don't care. We're gonna come back and I'll just start fresh from here. All right, so we're gonna see our first elite flyers here. And again, this thing, this is what you want. You can dual wield them if you're good. I'm not really good dual wielding these, so I don't. But once you start down here, you're gonna get those flying elites. You may have to duck behind cover, so I like to keep some shotties all over the place just in case. And we'll go ahead and spawn them. I think you have to go all the way to the bottom. Yeah, light it up, fall back. Get a shot before they hit the ground. Then just strafe. Aim for the screen does super damage, man. All right, two more elites. They're the priority. Oh my gosh, you know, or not. So they're always gonna aim for the last place that they saw your head. So if you go behind a wall and you have to come out from that same position, do a duck or something. So if I go back behind this wall and my head is here, this is where they're always going to be aiming. So if you duck, they'll be shooting over your head. That's not to say that they're not 100% accurate. They can be a little bit lower. So if you're going to duck and you have to go out, duck far. Make sure you're way under that. Alright, this next wave is one of the hardest ones for me, but I found the easiest way to do it, at least for me, it's a little bit risky, is so once you start down these ramps, once you scoot up to like about these barriers here, you're going to spawn the first wave. Once you hit the ramps, you'll spawn the second wave. So what I like to do is to just run down there, spawn both waves real fast, hop my way back here, use this barrel to kill everything. If I fail doing that, I retreat back to there and use this thing. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna attempt. So see if we can do that. Just run up. You're gonna start spawning stuff. You're gonna freak out. You're gonna run away. You're gonna duck. Make sure nothing gets to you. Let them all get near that barrel. Boom. See how quick that was? We took out three elites and like four normal ground bots one shot but you do have this guy over here and then you got these in the cove over here so don't forget about them all right moving down you're gonna get two flyers over there an elite up on that uh crate and then another bot over there so you can scoot down take that one out take those two out hide from this one once you take him out, you're going to get an elite ground bot down there. So you're going to want to kind of be on that one. Might be a good idea to just kind of fall back a little bit. Let this guy do his thing. He is stuck in that crate. So he's left us in an awkward situation. See if he can find his way out. He's going to make me get him. Well... All right, anyway, you're gonna get an elite over here with a ground bot and two more ground bots. And once you take all of them out, you're gonna get some mice bombs behind you. So what I like to do, take this guy out, let the ground bots come to me, and get ready for the mice, because it might be a good time to start falling back a little bit. Take them out, because once you take these out, you're going to get another elite right there. Then you take out these here. Alright, easy peasy. Now we have two elites. Not elites, what are these called? Oh, I forget what they're called. The big guys. We're going to take these guys out. Again, really fun because once you take out the last one over here, you're going to be getting um, an elite ground bot and two regular ground bots. And then you're going to be getting two flyers over there. So it might not be a bad idea to fall back a little bit. Oh. 
let the elite bot work its way over here just a little bit and use that barrel all while dodging these guys. If that is too much for you, it's getting too risky, always feel free to fall back to the start of this level. It's a great place to be. You have tons of room. Get out your rail gun. Take them out. Pointer finger of death. We got this guy stuck on a crate. Got two of them stuck on a crate. So we're just gonna... There we go. Now we gotta take out is this guy, and we're done. That's it. This one is a little bit rough. This one is very nerve-wracking. Just take your time. If you're ever worried about it, go all the way back to the beginning. Just fall back. They're, they're really slow. If you fall back here, you know, just take pop shots as you're running back. You can do it. You got this. I have faith in you. Because now we're going to the hardest level. So this one's loads of fun. Everybody loves this level. So for this one, barrels, which they're not in my vision. There they are. Those are your lifeline on this one. So starting out, you're going to have two elites. I just get out this guy right here. I have my shoddy ready and just do my strafe maneuver. Take it out before it hits the ground. Obviously, the better shot you are, the better luck you're going to have. Because if you can hit them in the screen, they're one shots. Okay. So now what I do is I like to run up. Because once you pass about right here, you're going to start spawning another wave back there. And I use this back barrel over here to take care of most of that. So I'll run over here, let these guys spawn, use that barrel to take out most of it, and then I fall back. Go for the elites. Just dodge these guys. All the while just moving back and forth. Left and right. Okay, once you take out that wave, you're going to get three more flyers. After you take out these three flyers, you're going to get couple more elite ground bots so you may want to wait until those mice are gone take this guy out hit that barrel see if you get any of them use that barrel to take out what you can the elites are the biggest concern so anytime you can use barrels to get rid of them use them all right so that's the that's the last of that until we cross a little line up here so once you cross about the end of this wall you're gonna get some more mice bots over there and you're going to get some flyers. They can spawn over here, or they can spawn over there. And you're going to get one of the uh, the big, dumb trash can bots. So, my spots are my main concern. Oh, we spawned Fred. Anywhere in this area, you're going to spawn Fred. So, let's take out the trash can. now it gets really scary so my strategy if you've watched a lot of my streams you know my strategy is to usually just run to that back room over there and that's my safest spot um, and that's a really good way to do it if you're gonna go that way hit the one barrel over here then let everything come to you I don't know what that is that's also very good if you're nervous about doing that just start the spawn, have everything come back here, just be ready for it. It's pretty straightforward, you got this. So we're gonna come up, we're gonna spawn them, hit that barrel, take out a few. And then we're just gonna let them come back to us. Just stand right here at this corner, as soon as you start seeing little robot wings come around, unload on them. The thing you have to really be worried about are my spots, just be listening for them. See. Got some coming. Those are your concern. They're a lot faster than the other ones, so they usually get here long before they do. So. 
Got more my spots. This index makes it sound like they're right behind me almost. Just make sure you're constantly reloading the shotgun. I like to reload after every shot because I'm weird like that. Just make sure you don't run out because if you get a mouse spot on you and you're not getting a bullet out, you're screwed. All right, we got a couple of my spots that are stuck. I like to get stuck on these stairs over here. There it is. All right, so we'll leave him there for at the second because I'm pretty sure he doesn't spawn a wave. Yeah, he doesn't. Okay, so once you're done with that wave, you have to move into the room to spawn. And you have to get pretty far into it, so it's hard to run in and then back your way out. Especially because we still have a wave of my spots that are going to spawn right here. So if you haven't already, now is where I would run to the other side of this room and just get ready for them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run in, and we're just going to run over here and hide. Let everything come to us, use these barrels. No, my spots can get you up here, but again, there's going to be a lot of flyers, and they will start pushing each other out of the way to get to you, so they can push themselves around this corner, and it can get really, really scary. Alright, then we got these two. Once you take out the second one, you're going to get a couple uh, round bots over there, so... Just be ready to uh, hit that explosive barrel right there. Then you got that explosive barrel there if you haven't used it already. Take this guy out and we're done. Now Jumbotron. Jumbotron is the hardest boss to solo. No doubt. So I like to have at least one shotgun. My railgun and the SMG. I go to this back corner to start. This is my safe spot right back here. So, Jumbo. You do not want to take out any more than one screen at a time. Unless you are speed running, you take out one screen and then you take out the enemies. So, let's see. I think it's eight, eight and a half to Three, four, five. No, it's almost six cl clips to take out a screen. Because you're going to need that information once we go over to the other side. Take it all out long before it gets here. First wave isn't so bad because it's just ground bots that are the like the regular ground bots and the uh, the regular flyers second wave we're gonna get elites so they got our second screen now we got some flyers some elites I like to just start tearing into him he is not stopping at all Flyers are really, really bad, so I like to take them out as quickly as I can. And then you can use the railgun to do some extra damage to the elites. Again, the elites are what you really, really want to avoid. So, here's where it gets really, really scary. We're going to have to move. So, Jumbotron is the only enemy who will lead you. So, if you're walking he's going to be shooting in front of you so that you walk into his shot. So you have to be ready to duck and dive. I like to walk and when he starts shooting I'll stop and start slowly ducking. And we have to get to that other corner. So you really don't want to be doing Jumbotron while you're doing all the other bots because these other bots will not lead you and he will. So you really just have nowhere to go. So we're going to work our way that general direction.
Walk and duck. Whew, it's so scary, man. All right, here's where it's gonna get really bad. We need to get behind those boxes. So you can scoot out a little bit. His gun can't hit you right here. You can't take him out from here. I mean, you can try. If you hit both of the screens fast enough, you can take him out before. But once you get one of these screens down, elite spawn all over here. So what I like to do is wait till he's in, a, in between shots. And we're gonna hop right behind these crates. This is nerve wracking, man. Not gonna lie. Because if you miss it, he will hit you. So we're gonna duck down. One clip into each. That's two clips. Three clips. Four, three clips. Four clips. All right, so we got one more clip and then half a clip. All right, so now we're gonna start wanting to take a few out on each screen. Just like that. Make sure he's dead before anything hits the ground. And see, I didn't hit a lot of the terminals. Still got A rank. But we have a new, new quest gear, so it's all right. Anyways, guys, that's the solo tutorial. It's Great updated shot. 2020. It's uh, made for walking. This quest is way easier in walk. So if you've watched my old Jumbotron tutorial, it's way harder on teleport. This is like easy mode compared to teleport. But still, in my opinion, this is probably the hardest one to solo. So you can do it. I have faith in you. You will do it. Appreciate you guys for watching. Again, if you found it helpful, if you found it enjoyable, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought. I'm going to try my best to respond to as many comments as I can. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all take care.